Shots fly in Midtown, what police are saying about the chaos, and mission to the moon, what to know about tomorrow's historic rocket launch, next. My new chapter started with my new place, home. Raymore and Flanagan had everything I needed to make it mine. Perfect, comfortable, I really like this one. Oh, it's gorgeous. Warm. Well, this got here fast. And welcoming. Hello. Hey, girl. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Wow. wow, this looks amazing. Thank you. And so fast. Right. New beginnings start at home. Start yours now during the Labor Day sale at Raymore and Flanagan. You know, there's something so relaxing about a backyard built with Cambridge paving stones. Don't you think, boys? First time in my life, everyone agrees with me. Actually, second, because everyone agrees that Cambridge pavers keep the rich colors and stay beautiful for years to come, thanks to our unique armor tech process. What a life. Paving stones with armor tech. Have the dreams come true. CBS 2 News at 11. Right now at 11, a developing story. Gunfire outside St. Patrick's Cathedral. The scary moments that sent people running. The floor of a Bronx apartment building gives way, sending a woman crashing down to the basement of her building. Now frustrated tenants sound off against the landlord, and the city is taking action. Plus this. Good evening. Thanks for joining us on this late edition of the 11 o'clock news. I'm Jessica Moore. We begin with that developing story in the heart of Manhattan. Shots ring out outside St. Patrick's Cathedral. It all unfolded just before 6 o'clock on a busy Sunday night. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner has the very latest from Midtown. Jessica, just a few blocks from St. Patrick's Cathedral here on West 53rd Street is where police track down a vehicle that is believed to have been involved in the shooting. You can see the driver's side window of this red car is shattered and it is parked right outside of the Museum of Modern Art. Next to